It's been a while since I've done a video on an Olight flashlight, but they wrote to me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their lights, and I said, sure, I'd love to. So Olight sent me a couple lights to review, and this is one of them. This is a brand new one from Olight, as I mentioned, the S2A Baton. This light retails for $49.95. I'll put some links down below. You can check it out. And this light is powered by two AA batteries, and it will go from a low of 0.5 lumens up to a turbo 550 lumens. And they're kind enough to include two of their own AA batteries with it. There's two battery options. You can either use the lithium battery or you can use a regular alkaline and you are going to get about twice the runtime out of a lithium and it's very kind. It's a nice uh, additional feature that they include those with it. Here are the threads. There's a little O-ring right here. This is kind of standard, uh, you know, flashlight IPX8 rated, hard anodized aluminum, Comes in weighing 1.9 ounces without the batteries. Length is just over five inches, 5.2 inches by 0.91 inches wide. And it's a very comfortable in the hand. It's a nice light, so perfect for an everyday carry kind of light. That's what this is light. That's what this light is going to be. It's not a tactical light by any means, especially in the fashion colors it comes in, because not only does it come in blue, that will set right here, but comes in three other fashion colors of yellow, gray and black to suit all of your, your outfit needs. The grips on them are a siliconized rubber, or maybe it's just straight silicone, but it's very comfortable in hand. It's nice and grippy. And not only is it grippy for your hand, but when you have it in your pocket, under the pocket clip, that silicone helps keep the pocket kind of gripped down or helps keep, helps keep the light gripped down into the pocket because it's under that silicone and it's, it's not gonna slide out easily from that. Some other features on the light, the lens is a TIR, or Total Internal Reflection Lens. And what that means is that the, the LED, by the way, it's a Cree XM L2 LED, but the TIR lens, the only other flashlight that I have that has this is my Surefire flashlight. And you can see that there is that little nub right there. And that is actually, most flashlights have a conical uh, tip here with LED down here, and it bounces all through here and a flat piece of crystal or glass on the edge of it. This has, this is actually depressed down into here. If you can see, there's not a solid piece of glass across the top there. It actually goes all the way down in there. And that little nub is the TIR lens. And what that does is it helps reflect all of the light from within inside that lens and reflects it out forward. There's also a smooth reflector there and between the two of those, it gives this light a nice smooth beam. It'll throw, they say 110 meters. I translate down, that down to a meaningful, useful distance of about 110 feet. That's the way I usually kind of translate and calculate it. But it's a nice everyday carry light for, for simple stuff and somewhat up close stuff. The light does have thermoregulation. So when it is at the 550 lumens, it gets pretty warm and to compensate for itself internally, it will bump itself down to 300 lumens after three minutes so the light can cool down a little bit before you bump it back up to the 550 lumens if you need to. Let me show you what else you get with this light. Let me bring in one of these. Here is how it comes packaged. Plastic see-through case here on the back. Cover some of the specifications. Open it up and show you what you get here. So in here you get a lanyard. And one of the fancy things, this is small, it's the small things that count, right? On the tip of this lanyard, there is, can you see it? A little metal piece, little metal ring. And that makes it easy so that when you're trying to feed it through the lanyard hole right there, it can be very easily fed through. It's almost like a needle on the tip of the lanyard so that you can pull it through. Otherwise you have to feed this little piece through here and that would be a challenge. So that's a nice little afterthought that they've included there. That's handy. The lanyard here uh, has the uh, Olight logo on there and then you can cinch this down for as tight or loose as you want to make it. Aside from that, there is also the instruction manual. Comes in a couple different languages. Warranty stuff on the back, but a little instructional pamphlet has all the specs on it. And so that is what the light comes with. Let me show you the construction of the light now. The back, like I mentioned, the tail cap, it comes off, it is flat, 
you can tail stand it no problem. Forward to that is that siliconized grip, and here's something that's kind of fancy about that grip. Let me bring three of these in here. Watch this. The grips glow. They don't glow for a long time. They glow for a couple minutes, but kind of a nifty feature after the lights have been exposed to some light for a while, those little handles will glow for a few minutes. Kind of nifty. The kids might like it. Forward to that up here, the Olight logo, model name, serial number, and then the pocket clip. The only two critiques I have about this light are the pocket clip and the button here, and I'll just cover those together. The pocket clip, it's a deep carry pocket clip, as you can see. The light sits all the way down in your pocket. The other video I did on an Olight, I kind of complained about the pocket clip because of this little piece right here. Sometimes when you're putting it into your pocket, because there is a little bit of, there's a little bit of an edge right there, Sometimes that can get caught a little bit and you have to work just to get that through there in your pocket. I don't think this little piece here is, ne is needed because the light is long enough and especially with the siliconized piece down here, it's not gonna come out of your pocket. So this little extra grippy piece is not necessarily needed. My two critiques on the pocket clip. The pocket clip does come off. So if you just wanna throw this in your bag or wherever by itself, you can do that if you're not a pocket clip kind of guy or girl for that matter. And then the other critique on the light is the actuation button here. It's on the side, and that's how you turn it on and off. But the button is kind of smooth, and it can be a little bit hard to feel in the dark, or even when I was carrying this at work and I would take it out of my pocket and I was trying to find the button. So if they could make this a little bit more texturized, put some knob nibbing on there, something to make that a little bit more tactile, that would be handy. But one of the ways that I have kind of gotten around that is I put the pocket clip on, and I put the pocket clip right next to the button. And so I feel the pocket clip, and then I know that my finger is automatically going to go down onto that button every time, right-handed or left-handed. So that's one way you can account for that. Up into the tip, I already covered that TIR lens, and then all of them, either blue model or yellow, all have a blue shiny ring there at the tip. Onto the user interface, the light will go from 0.5 lumens up to 550 lumens. That 0.5 lumens, the moonlight mode, you get to that by long pressing on the button. And that goes into the moonlight mode, 0.5 lumens for 100 days. And then changing brightness is you just hold down on the button. Goes up to that next mode, 10 lumens for 120 hours. Hold down again. 50 lumens for 30 hours. 300 lumens for 4 hours, 40 minutes. And then the turbo of 550 lumens, and it will do that for 4 hours. Then like I said, after 3 minutes, it will ramp down to that 300 lumen brightness. From any mode, you can get to the strobe by triple clicking, and it will go into the strobe, and then click it again, it will go back off. Or from the strobe, if you hold it down, it will go back to whatever brightness you had it before that. Another interesting feature on this light is that it also has a timer. It has two timers, actually, a three minute timer and a nine minute timer. And you get to those timers by double clicking the button. So once the light is on, you double click it, and it flashes twice. Two flashes means that it is in the nine minute timer. And just to show you that, I'm gonna sit here and let that timer go for nine minutes and you watch it. And when it turns off, I'll come back and I'll start talking again. Okay, not really, I won't do that. But there's, th there's the nine minute timer, click it again. There's one flash, that means it's in the three minute timer. So if you wanna use this as a night light, anything like that, you could set the timer, maybe for the kids, something like that. Also, you can get to the turbo from off by a click and a hold. So click hold, and it will go immediately to that 550 lumens. And as I mentioned when I was talking about the batteries initially, if you use a regular alkaline battery, you're going to get about half of the runtime that you'll get with the lithium batteries. So take that into account as well when you're buying your batteries. All right, let's have a look at this light out in the dark here. Right in front of me, there is a tractor, and I'm going to go right on to the full 550, the turbo brightness. And bam, just lights that whole thing up really well. And if I spin around, you can see here that there is a good mixture of both flood and throw. So it's going to be great for walking around at night. If I ramp down through the brightness here, starting at the moonlight. Nice for some up close stuff. Ramping up. And up to the 300. The 300 lumens should be plenty for really almost anything that you need. But if you need that extra little oomph, you can bump up to the 550. 
super bright and then triple click and there is the strobe. And then back down. When the light is on, something else that's interesting, the button actually lights up a little bit so that you can find it. Nice little added feature. That way you can, in the dark, it does make it a little bit easier to find. So there you go, the S2A baton from Olight. You can check this out at either Olight World or I will put a link down below to Amazon. You can check it out there. Nice light, check it out in all the fashion colors, all four of them. Buy one of each, buy one for the kids, buy one for the girls. Fantastic new light from Olight. Check it out.